Hi, it's uh, Mark Winnegar again, and I want to take just a few minutes to speak with you about URLs or the Universal Resource Locators. Now, if you take a look at this Safari window, you'll notice that we are at the Apple homepage or what Apple calls their start page. And if you take a look in the address area, you will see the address HTTP colon followed by a double slash www.apple.com slash start page slash and all of the slashes are forward slashes. Okay? So, what is all of this? Well, the first part, the HTTP colon is what we call the scheme. And there are basically four options here. The default is HTTP. This means we want to look at a web page that's out on the World Wide Web. Now we could put in its place HTTPS. That is a secure hypertext transfer protocol. So we have greater security with HTTPS than HTTP. Now I haven't used that. All I've done is entered it, so let's hit return. And we can get to a secure version of our Apple home site, our home page. Two other options that I could put in there would be FTP for File Transfer Protocol, and we'll talk about that more later on, or File. I might be going for a particular file, a file on my computer or on any other computer that I out on the internet that I have access to. The next part, the www.apple.com, is the domain name of the server. So that's the web server that we are desiring. The forward slashes relate to directory structures on that server. So, as you all know, the, the home directory, the beginning directory of any file system is the root represented by a backslash. Well, in HTML, it's a forward slash instead of a backslash. Okay, so we're at the root. Then we're going for a folder or directory on the root called start page. So we go to that folder on the apple.com web server and then within that folder we want to look at a file and the file that will automatically get loaded is probably index.htm or html. HTM's not it. How about HTML? There we go. So, that's all I'm going to say about the Universal Resource Locator.